Welcome to this in-depth walkthrough of Soundweaver. In this video, we'll talk about the timeline, the tracks, and different randomized features. Let's get started. In this example, the goal is to create an explosion with debris sounds. Let's start by adding a group for the explosion. We select two folders from which Soundweaver will randomly pick sounds that match the search term. For the debris, we add one group for gravel and one for glass. Sounds good already. Soundweaver has randomly selected our different sounds and split the individual sound files into different regions, each of them representing a variation or take. The creation of a new region happens automatically every time the levels go below a certain threshold for a certain period of time. Hit points have also been created, which are used to align the variations at zero in the timeline. Each hit point can be dragged with the mouse. We can also move the entire clip to create an offset. In our example, it makes sense to start the debris after the main explosion. To do this, we move all hit points simultaneously by holding down the Control key on Windows or Command on Mac and drag one hit point with the mouse. As we can see, Soundweaver has created one region too many. To fix this, we right-click on the region and select Merge with Next Region. If no regions at all or far too many had been detected, we can also adjust the threshold, which will reanalyze the audio and set new regions. This region is a little too long. Let's split it at the mouse position. We trim and fade the debris to make them fit better into context. To edit all variations at the same time, we hold down the Control key on Windows or Command key on Mac. As we can already kind of see from the waveform, one of the explosion sounds doesn't quite fit into the overall picture. Let's tell Soundweaver to generate a new suggestion by clicking the dice icon in the channel. Better. In case we don't like the sound of a whole group, we can click the dice icon in the group bar to generate a new suggestion for the group. We also have the option to get a completely new result by clicking the Global Randomize button. As we're quite happy with the sound already, we don't have to do that here. We can easily skip through the variations globally for groups and for tracks. The Shuffle Variations function picks variations randomly. The gravel group is a little thin. We increase the quantity in the group bar to add another layer. In case we want to change the keywords or search paths we defined at the beginning, there are two buttons to the right of the quantity box which will show respective pop-ups when clicking on them. Another way to import audio into Soundweaver is via drag and drop. By dropping sound files into a free space in the timeline, we create a new group for them. Let's add a distortion sweetener this way to enhance the sound. If we drop them on an existing track, they would be added to the respective group. Great! The glass debris sound is still a little small, let's pitch them down to give them a bigger feel. That's it for now. See you in the next video where we'll talk a little more about the different export possibilities and how we can get even more variation with Soundweaver.